Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Today, we're going to talk about the results of the Commander Master boxes that we opened. I think by the time you see this video, we're going to be, oh, probably knee deep into uh, preview territory. So, uh, this will be a short one um, as we really focus more on Eldraine than this. Uh, but here you have it. You can obviously see there's plenty of commons and stuff up there. Um, but here's all the mythics. We got a decent amount lens. We did get one jeweled lotus um, out of 12 boxes. To me, that says this is going to be a very hard card to pull still again. We got Kolzak like it's nobody's business apparently. Uh, one Immortal Sun. Uh, cup. We got, th well, technically one of every uh, commander set, guys, so that's kind of neat. Scarab God, one Ur Dragon, one Arch Fiend. We got two tutors, one foil, that was really sweet. A couple grave packs. We got one Mikhailis. Twilight, one Great Hinge, one Final Devils, two Dot Final Devastations, a couple Crater Hoofs, one Silver Heart of the Wilds, one ba Bale Fowler Dragon, a couple Insurgents. Uh, one capture of Zongzu, a couple spell seekers, uh, two Urzas, uh, two Avacyn, a Heliod, one land tax, and one big old smothering titties. Um, not too bad. Uh, all in all, though, um, yeah, well, let's count these first. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So at 12 boxes, we had 42. That's basically four box. Now, if you look at the box videos, you'll notice some boxes, two boxes only had like one each or two. Some boxes had four to six. Uh, it was really weird and random. Um, I don't know if the set's just too big to get a good mapping or what, but this is not going to be something where the cards stay relatively too cheap because it is still, still really hard to get. Plus, no one's willing to pay the prices for this product that people want them to pay. Uh, the draft and set boxes have already collapsed. Uh, you're getting ready to see how the collector boxes... Uh, are actually maybe close to okay, uh, but that's going to be sketchy at best. One thing I did learn about this, though, here in the rares, this is where all your money is. And now, when I say that, you know, you look at the rares, out of 12 boxes, we actually got a decent amount of lands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands out of 12 boxes. That's one less than one land a box. That's saying something. A um, couple dark steels. Uh, some cards were still hard to get. We got only three medallions, which was I thought was odd. Um, one sword, the animus. Like we got a very good variety. Nothing did we get a whole lot of anything really, other than obvious Marin because she's not worth nothing. Um, uh, we got tons and tons of Rolex uh, and other cards like that. This is where the real money in Commander Masters is. If you pull one of these, you're going to make jack and bank, uh, especially the foil versions. I mean, it's just so good. You know, you can see here, um, we got four of these for some reason, uh, a couple of Azusas only. Um, not a whole lot of anything else. Uh, we didn't get a lot of the same card except for a select few, which are not good cards. Luckily, we only got one Jarrell, or I'd probably be a little more upset about this, um, because that's just a really bad card. Uh, Kaka Fangs, a couple of Regals, only one Song of the Dryads, not happy about that. Uh, several Tooth and Nails, two Verdant. Now, one thing I'm not happy about is the amount of Azumi Lady of the Scrolls that I got. I mean, for the love of God, why could these not have been lands instead of this woman? Also, why are they all this picture? It's a good picture, but for the love of God, give me some, give me some variety. 
Luckily, we only got one Braids. I guess, you know, that makes up, you know, these shitty cards we got one of makes up for why we have a stack of these. Um, one Fairy um, Artisans. Now, Fairy Guardianship, we got so much Guardianship. We got four, and they are all high dollar. Like, these are $100 Fierce Guardianships. Um, again, set, showing that these are where the money's at in the rare slots. Uh, even personal tutors, we got several of those, only six dollars or so. Um, it comes to white, we only got two flawless maneuvers, unfortunately, but that's great because that's the cheap one. Uh, a couple of, and a couple of abolishers, some pure steels, one wrath, uh, deadly rollick. We got a couple of those, which were really sweet. Uh, and like I said, not a whole lot of different, or a lot of things being the same, except for like that, that chick and this damn treasure nabber. Um, but all in all, we did get a decent amount of money, um, as a whole. Uh, but I think one thing you're going to find out is the mythics really aren't where it's at in this set. And that's also a problem because a lot of the rares, even though they are worth a lot of money, there's so many rares, it's hard to get them. So if we look at this, which is my handy dandy notebook, you'll notice in the first couple boxes or six boxes, we'll say, for Mythics, we had 74. This was 209. This was way outside the norm because we got all the bomb Mythics. But 80, 25, 85, 52. Most of the value in all this, 113 in rares. Again, 47, that's because we had so many good Mythics probably because of some kind of weird jacked up mapping. Uh, 106 in rares, 102 in rares, 185 in rares, 77 in rares. Uh, all the first six had more value in rares than it did in mythics, except for one box. Second six, which was down here again, uh, 47, 84, 46, 69, 101, 26, 73 in rares, 163, 160, 134, 45 in rares, 161. Only once were rares lower than mythics. And as you look to total box prices of the second six, a 120 box, 247, 206, 203, 146, uh, 187, and we had a total of 188 average of all 12 boxes. If you look at the first six, the last six, first six average was 191 per box value, 184 for the second. Uh, again, as you open more boxes, it kind of raises that value higher. You see 188. I think these box values is probably around 190, which is probably close to right. But the real problem is, um, with it as a whole, even with that, 20% off of 190 is still, you know, 179 or something. So, like, these boxes have to be cheap. And when I was at Gen Con this weekend, or last weekend, whenever the hell that was, at Gen Con, these boxes, somebody was selling them for $179. That's a flat deal. Uh, but even at that, you're probably still only going to break even depending on what you buy. So half a dozen one, six the other. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling in my personal opinion, as great as this product is, it's going to see a market crash. Because currently at the value of the boxes being sold... The value of the cards in it are not there. Wizards has jacked this price up way too high. Um, and even though the card values are still good, uh, in comparison, the prices of the boxes are just too high for those card values. Even if the card values stabilize where they're at now, which are good prices and good money, you still cannot make back even remotely close to what you put into it. Because remember, here you get all the cool stuff. You get a chance at, whoa, 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 cards everywhere. Look at that. Grand Archive getting jealous that I'm not uh, paying attention to them. With that, still, you, you have, in this one, you have the special face cards, the panoramic cards, the foil etched. You have the chance for all the special stuff, which you don't have a chance for in set and draft. And those are more expensive boxes, and just because of that, nobody's really going to buy it and make the base value cards like this that you see on a regular basis cheaper, while cards like this are going to be more expensive because they're going to be harder to get. Um, and you can say all day long how you don't like foil etched, but let's be honest. If you look at both these cards, 
this one to me looks better than this one and there's less bending so they finally got it under control and they're doing the right thing and I think that at the end of the day collector boosters is where it's at they need to be around 179 to 180 if you want to buy them in my personal opinion that's the right price 200 is probably the max and for draft and set I wouldn't pay more for those than honestly what you just paid for Lord of the Rings which is 140 to 180 a box and because of that there's going to be a disaster in the market I think coming for this product as far as value I also don't think this is a product you should keep uh, this is a complete reprint set which means they're going to do it again which means these card values for sealed product will not be good um, and moving forward it's probably going to be a disaster so open them now get the value out of them you can the values will stay medium to high but as a sealed product as you know, Wilds Veldrain is coming. We've already got a lot of these cards reprinted in Wild of Veldrain. They're just not going to hold their value long term for this kind of sealed product. When in Wilds of Veldrain, you can buy a box for 100, 120 bucks, and these boxes are going for 200, 250, 300, and that's on a cheap end. It's just ridiculous. So, at the end of the day, decent product only for collectors, and even then, you're really scraping the bottom of the bucket. This is a fail for Wizards uh, in the grand scheme of things, and. I think we're going to see this on an Amazon dump. So until next time, be kind. Don't forget to subscribe right here or over there, wherever you want. Uh, as always, hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player. Damn Grand Archive cars, and I got to clean this mess up.